Roman Harper, uh, former safety of the New Orleans Saints, drafted in the second round, 43rd overall. And I'm here today. First of all, you never forget where you were drafted or who was drafted in front of you in your position. Right. And today I'm right. here to introduce to the Saints fans and family uh, our third round pick, number 76 overall, Paulson Adebo. With the 76 pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New Orleans Saints select Paulson Adebo, defensive back, Stanford. Welcome, man. How you doing? How does it feel yeah, to get your name called? All the things that you always try to look for, you dream about. How are you feeling today, a couple of days after this thing's kind of all shake, shaking out? Yeah, so the night of, after hearing my name called, you know, it's, it's crazy. I'm telling people like, uh, you know, I got a phone call and the number was a Grand Prairie, Texas number. And the Cowboys on the clock. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we go to the Cowboys, right? I get on the phone. Uh, it's such and such with the New Orleans Saints. We got a pick coming up and we're going to take you here. And it's crazy because you always envision like that moment. And then it happens. After that, I didn't hear anything, right? Hey, such and such, we're going to take you here. I'm going to pass the phone. I don't know who I'm talking to, right? I'm just saying, yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we hang up the phone. In my mind, I'm like, man, they ain't picking me. <laughs> right? I did the You're same like, thing. Right. I did the same Something thing. Happen. Something happened. They ended up picking somebody else, right? But then finally, you know, it goes across the screen at the bottom, and then you finally realize the moment. Uh, obviously, I have my, my friends. And, close friends like my mom, my cousin, uh, my brothers around me. And then just kind of taking the moment in. And then I'm a pretty chill dude, so I usually, I don't get like super duper excited. Um, so I'm still kind of like chill, like, all right, that's where I'm about to be, you know, that's where I'm gonna start my career and, and that's where I'm gonna make it happen. Okay, so now I gotta do some things to, you know, the fans wanna know who you are. They wanna get some insight on Paulson, all right? A deep bow. They yes, wanna know more about this young man, all right? All right, so, Number one, what type of player or personality is this team, this city getting, and what do you bring into this locker room and that DB room specifically? For sure, man. As a player, just a playmaker. I think if you look at my career, you know, I agree with that. 20, I agree. You know, production out of this world. So for me coming in, just try to recreate that, learn from the older guys, try to make an impact as early as possible. Um, but yeah, just somebody who's gonna be a playmaker, make plays in the game, whether you make interceptions, uh, knocking the ball down, stopping receivers from catching the ball. Now tell me this though. So last year you you were one of the few at well one of the athletes that decided not to play. You opted out the 2020 season season. I, I just think it's so interesting. I want to get in the mind of all the athletes that did that, that made that decision. So I understand what what kind of went into the decision. I totally understand that. But while you were not playing, what were what were you doing? I decided uh I decided to officially opt out in like October, so like early October. So from mm -hmm. the time I opted out in October, found out what agent I was gonna sign with, I went down to Exos, which is a training facility. Yep. Um, and the one in Dallas, so. Okay. Went down there. It's right one of so the one in Dallas, yep, yep. Exactly, so from about October 20, 21st, I was working out at Exos, so getting, you know, getting my body right. When you're around other great players, it really just kind of feeds into yourself. You're like, man, I can do that. Boom, you pull this away from here. You pull this part, part, part of games from somebody else. I think you, it'll be a blessing in disguise for you to just get in that locker room. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore is another guy who's extremely talented, a really good press corner man-to-man -man guy, but big and loves to play physical in his tackling. So I, I think you'll be right in their locker room, man. You know, confident that I'll be able to handle everything that comes my way. So just just happy and ready to get started for real. Hey man, well look, congratulations, Paulson, man. I'm looking forward to watching you. Do you know what number you're gonna try and get? Man, I don't know what number I'm gonna get yet. I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make this some, whole make new some DB thing because you can go single digits now, right? Like you can go. Yeah, exactly. You wore number eleven exactly. in college. Like, what are you doing? I, like, I, I think that's another part of you putting on these rookies now. I don't know. Exactly, exactly. So I have to have a conversation with the coaches and, and see what's going on there. But uh, yeah, I got a couple ideas. I got a couple ideas. So. All right, man. Well, look, good, congratulations again, Paulson. You have a good one, bro. I can't wait to see you guys down there in the locker room. Good luck. Thank you for having me.